this video we're going to show you how to do the hem on the corner, uh, the front corner of the Heather blazer. It has this really nice clean finish that's actually pretty easy to do. So we'll break it down. So here we have little shortened pieces of our blazers. Just to give you an idea of what you're looking at, this is the front piece. Um, it doesn't have interfacing on it like your version would, but it's just to show you. So this is the front, this is the front facing, and this is the side front out of the lining fabric. So as you can see, we've joined the, at this point in the steps, we would have joined the front to the front facing. That goes all the way down to the hem. And then we join the front facing to the side front and that you only sew down to this notch right here, which is three quarters of an inch up. Now we're gonna do some pressing to prepare to sew. All of the pressing makes it really easy to do this hem. So, you, on this extension of the front piece, this gets pressed up one and three eighths inch, and then this along here, and then along the front facing gets pressed up three eighths of an inch. The facing, or the uh, side front, gets pressed up three quarters of an inch. So, the this seam that joins the front to the front facing, that gets pressed towards the facing, and then this seam that joins the front facing to the side lining is pressed open all the way down to the hem. So I'm gonna go do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we have it pressed. On yours, the so the lining would be pressed all the way around the lining hem, three quarters of an inch, and then this, one and three eighths inch press would go all the way around the front hem of the main fabric. So now that I have this all pressed, the next step is going to be to open this up and we're going to fold at this line that joins the front to the front facing. And again, that seam allowance pushes towards the facing and we're gonna sew along this creased line that we've made for ourselves down to the end of this and make sure that this seam allowance is pressed open. So we're gonna sew to that point right there and back stitch. So I'm just gonna put a couple pins in to prepare. Okay, so here we have that seam and then the next step is easy. We're just gonna pull this down and we're gonna match up this folded corner with this notch that you made at the bottom of your hem. So that matches up. And then you can just keep pinning down the hem. And we're gonna go out just a few inches because we'll leave that open so that we can finish the hem later, so. So now that we have that stitch sewn from this corner and this notch out a few inches, this is the magic part. So you can reach inside and you want to fold this corner of your hem, on, like pinch it up and then just carefully turn it and you'll get a really crisp turn. And then, ta-da! You have this gorgeous hem. So all that's left to do is to finish this little opening right here which you can sew shut by hand or you can open it up and go to your machine and then just sew like that so that you don't sew through the front but I'm just gonna sew it up by hand really quick. <laughs> 